Hey everyone, you're looking at the new No Man's Travel channel and today we're checking out the top 10 places to visit when going to Bali. Coming in at number 10, Pura Ulan Danu Bratan. One of Bali's most beautiful temple complexes is the 17th century Pura Ulan Danu Bratan. It's located on a small island at the western edge of Lake Bratan in the cold highlands of central Bali. Set against the magnificent backdrop of Kanun Baratang, the snatch temples reflect on the lake and appear to float on the surface when the water levels rise. Lake Bratan is one of Bali's primary irrigation and drinking water sources, and the temple complex is dedicated to Dawu Danu, the goddess of the sea and lakes. The Buddhist stupa to the left of the entry for the first courtyard is an uncommon feature with statues of Buddha meditating in the lotus pose in niches on the square base. The stupa shows Balinese Hindus' acceptance of Buddhist teaching. Early in the morning, before the tourist buses arrive, is the finest time to explore this ancient Hindu temple complex. The temple is especially beautiful in the early morning light when a chilly mist envelops the lake and mountains beyond. Number 9. Nusa Dua Beach Want to get away from the hustle and bustle of Bali city life? The solution? Nusa Dua Beach. Relax on a nice sun lounger with a fresh drink in hand and listen to the sound of waves hitting the white sands. You won't receive the cultural experience you get anywhere in Bali. After all, this is a gated resort enclave on its own private peninsula. But if solitude and reasonably clean sands are what you're looking for, you find it here at one of Bali's best beaches. This sweeping stretch of beach is dominated by some of Bali's greatest luxury beach resorts and personnel work hard to keep the sand clean and free of rubbish. Walking for miles down the beach, swimming, surfing, parasailing and sunbathing are popular activities in Nusa Dua, but you may have to pay a charge for each of the resorts to use their sun loungers. Still, if you're looking for a premium Bali beach experience, Nusa Dua checks all the boxes. When you're done with the beach, you can relax at a fancy resort or go to trendy stores at the Bali Collection, an open-air shopping center. For off-sand wandering between resorts and attractions, a paved promenade surrounds the shore. With all of this relaxation available, it's no surprise that Nusa Doa is one of the best spots to visit in Bali for a honeymoon. Number 8. Bisaki Temple Pura Bisaki is renowned as the mother temple for a reason. It's the holiest Hindu temple complex in Bali, as well as the largest. Pura Bisaki, located on the southern slopes of Mount Agum, at an elevation of a thousand meters, is actually a collection of numerous separate temples that serve as the spiritual center for the Balinese people. The largest is Pura Penetaran Agum. This temple complex is surrounded by lush rice paddies and forests, and many important festivals are held here. You could be lucky enough to experience one of them during your stay. Plan on spending approximately three hours seeing the temple. It's also a good idea to wear comfortable shoes because you'll be doing a long distance climbing and a lot of steps. Number seven, the Nusa Islands. You want to experience a slower base Bali? Without the crowds, traffic and tourists, it may be found on the Nusa Islands. Nusa Limbongan is the most popular of the three islands, located about 20 kilometers offshore from Sanur and easily accessible by speedboat. The major activities here are surfing, snorkeling, diving, kayaking and stand-up pedalboarding. And the top attractions are Dream Beach, Mushroom Bay and the Devil's Tear Rock Outcrop. Many people still earn a life from a seaweed farming and you can see them also gathering right on the beaches. Nusa Kinangan a nearby island with a lovely blue lagoon is just over a bridge from Nusa Libongan. The largest of the three islands is Nusa Penida. It's only a short boat ride away. Nusa Penida's major features are rock formations, caves and the bird sanctuary. And diving is one of the most popular things to do here, with the possibility to see manta rays, sunfish and turtles. Don't miss a steep climb down to Killing King Beach, also known as T-Rex Bay. To enjoy your own trip of golden sand surrounded by shoring sea cliffs, it's one of Asia's best beaches. Number 6. Tegelalang and Jelitui Rice Services in Bali Want to see the gorgeous emerald colored rice fields shown in Bali tourism brochures and Instagram posts? If you're a photographer, Tegelalang or Yatilubi Rice Services should be at the top of your list. 
Tegelalang, Ra- Tegelalang Rice Terraces, about a 30 minute drive north of Ubud, are one of the most well known locations for photography and absorbing the timeless beauty of these renowned places. One of the many restaurants and cafes overlooking the fields is a peaceful way to appreciate the gorgeous views. The Atilugu Rice Terraces, about a 90 minute drive from Ubud, cover more than 600 hectares of rice fields along the hillside of the Patukuru mountain range and are less popular than the Tangalang. There are also lots of tourists here, making it easy to go around and investigate without being bothered. Both of these areas employ the traditional water management cooperative way known as Supak, a UNESCO recognized irrigation system dating back to the 9th century. Number 5. Limpuyang Temple Complex. If you ever wondered where the famous Instagram photo of people at the gates of heaven was taken, it was taken at the Pura Puna Taran Agung Lumpayang. This well-known place, also known as Limpoyang Temple, is one of a number of temples that dot the highlands of Mount Limpoyang. Tourists gather here to take the photo while standing between the towering dragon staircases that frame Mountain Agung's misty peaks. If you have time, you should go to the other temples while you're here. Pura Luhar Luponyang is one of Bali's most revered temples, as well as one of the most difficult ones to reach. Are you ready to work out? The shrine is located at the top of a 1700 step climb through the sweltering jungle to over 1200 meters above sea level. Along the trip, keep an eye for the grey long-tailed macaques scampering around the jungle. The hike to Pura Luhar Luponyang takes about one and a half hours, depending on your fitness level. But once here, you'll be rewarded with the magical beauty of an old relic, as well as amazing views. Not feeling up to hike? To shorten the journey, you might be able to pay a local to take you to the end of the asphalt road on a motorbike. Number 4. Ubud Monkey Forest. One of the best things to do in Ubud is to visit Monkey Forest, also known as the Sacred Monkey Forest Sanctuary. It's also one of the greatest spots to visit in Bali if you like animals or take photos. You can stroll here in around 10 minutes from Abud's town center. Aside from the amusing army of great looking long tailed macaques that live there, the evocative forest backdrop where the monkeys wander free is a big draw. Paved paths go through lush forests of gigantic banyan and buckback trees, where moss covered statues and ancient temples tower through the dense vegetation leading a mysterious aura. The woodland is meant to reflect the peaceful coexistence of humans and animals. It also protects endangered plants and serves as a research site for macaque behavior, particularly social interaction. One of the three temples discovered here is the 14th century Pura Dalam Agung Panangkatal, which is located on the southwest edge of the woodland. Hundreds of monkeys swing among the trees and scale the walls there. Now we're getting to our number three, Sikumpal Waterfall. Many believe Sikumpal Waterfall to be Bali's most beautiful waterfall. Tucked away tourist attraction, it's actually a series of about seven falls, cascading like long misty veils over the lip of a lush long clad cliff in the Singanjara region, about 66 kilometers north of Vibut. The three to four hour round trip journey traverses through lush tropical jungle, rice terraces and local sediments surrounded by Rumantan and Darunian trees. It can be difficult in places as you must hike down slippery steps and slosh through a river. But once there, you can cool off with a pleasant swim at the base of the falls. It's an excellent journey for nature lovers who wish to experience the untamed valley away from the tourist traps. Number 2. Mount Batur. Every day, hundreds of visitors make the trip up Mount Batur's 1700 meter top. They reach the summit and see the sunrise above the mist shrouded mountains and the caldera far below. This should be at the top of your list of romantic things to do in Bali for couples. This wholly active volcano is located in the Kintanamani district in Bali's central highlands, about an hour drive away from Ubud. The hike is reasonably straightforward and normally takes two to three hours along a well-marked route. A picnic breakfast cooked under steam from the active volcano is usually included on guided treks. The views from the Batur Caldera, the surrounding mountain range and a gorgeous Lake Batur, the island's main supply of irrigation water, are stunning on a clear day. Sturdy hiking shoes are required and clothing are recommended because the weather can be cold before daybreak. And now. 
coming to our number one of our top 10 list of places to visit in Bali, Pura Tana Lot. Pura Tana Lot is one of Bali's most prominent temples, located about 20 kilometers northwest of Katu. It's a breathtaking beachside setting on a rocky island surrounded by bounty waves, and it's a big draw. It's one of the most revered of the island's marine temples to the Balinese. Every evening, tourists come from Kuta, Lijian, and Sanur make their way through a maze of roads lined with souvenir shops to see the sunset behind the temple. Pura Tanalat was established in the early 16th century and was inspired by the priest Nirata, who encouraged local fishermen to build the temple here after spending the night on the rock ledge. Although foreigners are not permitted to enter any of the temples in the complex during the low tide, you could stroll over the main temple. It's also enjoyable to walk around the walkways, taking photos and taking in the breathtaking scenery. So, this was our top 10 list of places to visit in Bali. You got more tips or ideas for a new video? Let us know in the comments. If you like this one, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and to the next. Let's go travel.